and welcome to Splotch Code. This video is part of the Scratch for Beginners series and I will show you how you can animate sprites that you can use in interactive artwork projects. Today I'm going to use letters that are in the sprites list that you can choose from and I've chosen my letters here that spell out the word, word hello. We're going to make it so when you click on each letter it does something different and that'll show you the different ways you can animate letters or any sprites that you've chosen. We're going to begin with our letter H. What we need to do is we're going to say when this sprite is clicked, so from our events we'll choose the one called when this sprite is clicked. And We're going to make our letter H grow big and then go back to being small again. So we need to go over to looks and you'll see one here that says change size by 10. We have a look at that. It's not that it doesn't do it very big. So what we might do is we might actually make it 50. And then we're going to make it go back. Wait one second. So we'll go and put a control in. Wait one second. And then we'll make it go back down in size. So change size by, and this time we'll say minus 50. So let's have a look at what happens. If I click on the H, it grows big and it grows back small again. Excellent. So that's how you can change the size of your letters. Let's go over to the E now and let's change the colour of the E. So once again, we're going to tell it when the sprite is clicked, we're going to change the colour. So the colour is over in looks and we will find one here which says change colour effect by 25. We're going to get it to wait again for one second and then we're going to get it to change it back again. So we'll say change by 25 and change by minus 25 and that means it will change back. Let's have a look. Changes to dark blue and changes back. Excellent. All right, for the L, we're going to get that to look like it's moving, it's sort of spinning a little bit. So again, let's go to our events and find when the sprite is clicked. We're going to get the L to spin. So that's under our motion and we'll get it to turn and I reckon we'll do about 30 degrees to make it so you can really see it moving. Again, we're going to want it to wait one second and then we'll get it to turn back the other way. So this time we choose the one with the arrow going the other way and again we need to change it so it goes to back 30 degrees. Now let's have a look at that. Okay, so it moves and moves back. Right, let's have a look at our next L. What can we do for that one? Let's make it play a sound when we click on it. So again, we're going to choose when the sprite is clicked and we'll go to sounds and we'll say play a sound. So if I click on it now, it's going to play a pop sound. Okay. But if we want to have a different sound, we can go to the sounds tab up the top here. Go down to our choose a sound and I've got lots of sounds to choose from. I'm going to choose a boing sound. So let's go back and now if I choose, pull down the drop down list, I can cho change it to a boing. boing. There we go. Excellent. All right, now our letter O. We're going to do something a bit different with our letter O. I'm going to make it so when you click on it, it disappears and something else appears in its place. So we need to start with our event again. Our event, event is when this sprite is clicked. It needs to hide. So let's go to the looks and find the hide, which is down the bottom here. So when the sprite is clicked, it will hide. 
What it then needs to do, it needs to send a message out to say that it's hidden to you the sprite that we want to appear. So we do that by going to events and you'll see there there's one here called broadcast message. So let's go and grab that. And what we want to do is we're going to go in and we're going to create a new message and I'm going to call it, give it a name of hidden. So when the sprite is hidden, so it'll broadcast when it's hidden to another sprite. Let's go and pick another sprite now. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose this heart face. Now I need to make sure it's sitting in the same spot that where the O will be. Okay, there we go. So now we need to put some code in for the heart to tell it to be hidden at the start and then we'll show when it gets a message to say that the O has been hidden. So we need to tell it to start by hiding. So we're going to get a when the green flag is clicked option and then we'll go to looks and we'll tell it to hide. So let's have a look at that. So now there it's hidden. What we next need to do is we need to tell it that when it receives a message from the O to say that it's hidden, it's to show. So here we go, we've got one called when I receive hidden. So hidden is the message, new message that we created. So when O sends a message to say I've been hidden, now our heart can show. And then we will have it wait one second and then we will hide the heart again. Okay, let's have a look what happens when I click on the O now. Turns into a heart and turns back to an O. Excellent. So that's all of our letters with some sort of animation. So let's have a look at them all now. So the H grows. The E changes colour, the L sort of wriggles a bit, that one makes a noise and that one turns into a heart. So that gives you an idea of some of the animations that you can use for animated artworks that you might want to create. But there's lots of things you can do. So jump into Scratch and have a go at doing some yourself. Thanks for watching Splotch Code.